for this second grade small group, this is um, the small group that you'll carry on for the, net, the rest of the week. Um, so the first thing I'd like for students to do is count by nickels, by five cent pieces or by fives, and then practice addition with the standard algorithm over and over and over. So to start off for their warm up each day, they're going to be counting by nickels and I've got these, they're just laminated um, and they've got the back and the front. So students can look at them, of course, the first time and just what do you notice about the nickels? They're worth five cents. What are they worth? Five cents. What are they worth? Five cents. The more they can say that, the better. What are they called? Nickels. What are they worth? Five cents. Um, then what I like to have the group do is if it's a group of three, then I would just kind of divvy these out and we would each take a turn pushing a nickel in and counting by five. So my turn five, next person 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, um, until you run out. So for day one, you can just start at zero and go as high as you can. After that, it really doesn't matter where you start, um, but I would like them to get to higher numbers. So on day one, counting by or starting at zero, day two, maybe start at 50. So then I go first and we're starting at 50 cents today. So we've got 50, next person, 55, 60, 65, 70. 75, 80, because um, I want them, they're used to counting by fives in the lower numbers, but I want them to get much, much, much more comfortable living in a higher space counting by fives. Day three, depending on how difficult day two was, you could repeat that or you could go higher. I'll let you use your discretion. Day four, same thing. Day four, ideally, we could start at 100 and keep going, but use your best judgment. Some groups might be ready for this and some groups might even need to stay here. But I would like them to be warming up each day, counting by fives, using that vocabulary, a nickel's worth five cents. How many cents? Five cents, what's it called? A nickel. Um, after their warm up each day, students each have a packet. It looks something like this. Um, and I'll keep adding to it through the week if it seems like kids are starting to run out. Um, but what I'd like for them to do is to practice using the standard algorithm to solve these addition problems. And just a management thing, especially with the friends that we see in our group, sometimes their eyes like to wander. So it's 100% okay to give a student the packet and say, okay, you're gonna start here. And then the other person in the group, you're gonna start here. And then another person in the group, you'll start here. That's harder on you, but they actually are getting so much more work done because they're not worried about one another. So with this, the focus is, okay, this says 61 plus 19. First job is to stack it, right? Tens have to be in the tens place. Ones have to be in the ones place. And I would like you to be really picky with them. If it's not lined up nice and neat, then they need to erase and start over. It has to be nice and neat and it has to be clearly lined up. After that, we talk through. One plus nine is, well, which one's higher? Nine, put that in your brain. Nine plus one more makes 10. I can't fit a whole 10 here in a 10. There's a zero in the ones place. I write down the zero. I carry that one ten. A lot of them want to put a, an actual ten here. We're not putting ten tens up there. We're just putting one ten. Ready? Which is highest? Six, one, or one? Six. Ready? Six, seven, eight. What did we come up with? Eighty. Next one. Twenty-five plus fifty-eight. Stack it. Make sure it is aligned. Okay, let's go ahead and which is larger, eight or five, eight's larger, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now, I like writing that number off to the side just to analyze it. It doesn't have anything to do with this, but it lets us see it. We're working right now in the ones place. So here, what digit is in the ones place? Three, and I have one 10 to carry. Which is largest, five, two, or one? Five's the largest. So I've got five, six, seven, eight. What is my sum? My sum is 83. 
last one on this page, 45 plus 29. Again, if they're not lining it up correctly, we will rewrite. We're going to go slow to go fast. So this packet's going to take them all week. They have to be careful about lining up um, those digits. Again, I always ask them when we start in the ones place, which is largest, nine or five, nine. I hold that in my brain. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Hey, if I have a 14, what's in the ones place? A four. That's what I write down. Carry my one, which is largest one, four, or two. Four is. So I start there four, five, six, seven. I got a sum of 74. So that's it for now, is just practicing that stacking and solving and carrying um, as needed. So this will take up the remainder of the week. Students can be in different places at different times, or you guys could all be working on the same question at the same time, or it might even vary group to group. So whatever, use your expertise and your judgment. Um, but this is what we'll work on for the rest of the week in our second grade small group. Thank you so much.